magical rhyme. You'll know it's time to turn the page when you hear this sound. Let's begin now. It was a day that started off just like any other day. The Wiggles were at home, each of them busy in a different part of the house. Greg was over by the table, practicing some magic tricks. He loved to do magic tricks, almost as much as he loved singing and dancing. But this new trick was difficult and he was having trouble getting the words right. Abracadabra wiggly woo. Oh, no, that's not it. He said, shaking his head. Abracadabra wiggly wiggly worm. He chanted, trying again. No, still not right. He continued to practice. Over in the kitchen, Anthony was doing two of his favourite things, singing and eating. Even better, he was singing his favourite song, fruit salad, and eating his favourite food, fruit fruit salad. salad. After he would sing a line of the song, he would stop and eat a piece of fruit. La la la, Mm. yummy orange. And Pop would go the orange into his mouth. La la la, yummy grapes. (laughs) And Pop would go the grape into his mouth. Anthony continued to sing and eat. (whistles) Jeff was practicing the keyboard and performing his favourite wiggly dance moves. He was having great fun twirling and dancing and playing. He was practicing a new dance step and did a huge spin that sent him crashing into the sofa. That might need a bit more practice, he said dizzily, sitting up and catching his breath. He looked at the plump cushions and at the soft, comfortable sofa. Oh, I could try again later. All of that practicing has made me rather tired. I might just sneak in a short nap. He lay down on the sofa and within minutes was fast asleep. (whistles) Murray was strumming the guitar and trying to write a song about all of his friends. He sang, Dorothy is a dinosaur. She's kind and green and... He kept getting stuck with the words. Try as he might, he just couldn't think of any rhymes today. Wags is great. He's a dog and a pal. He loves to scratch and... and... It was no use. He couldn't think of anything that rhymed. What's the matter with me today? He exclaimed. I wish... well, I wish that everything I said would rhyme. moment Greg, who had been practicing very, very hard, finally got the words to his magic trick right. I've got it! He yelled excitedly. Wiggly wonder abracadoo. No sooner had he said these words when there was a sudden clap of thunder and a bright flash of light that shook and lit up the entire house. Hey, what happened? cried Anthony, running from the kitchen, still holding a piece of banana. Someone get the door, mumbled Jeff, who had been woken by the noise. Greg was puzzled too, and was just about to explain about his magic trick when he caught sight of Murray. What's happened to Murray? he asked. They all turned to look at Murray. He was standing very still and very straight. He had a strange look on his face, and there was a tiny bit of smoke rising from the top of his head. Murray! called Anthony. Are you all right? Murray blinked several times, then cleared his throat and said rather shakily. I'm not sure what happened. It was all so fast. I was wishing for rhymes when there was a blast. I feel quite peculiar. It's strange, but it's true. My words feel all muddled. Oh, what should I do? The others all stared at him. Finally, Greg said, Murray, you are rhyming. Somehow the magic words I said must have made your wish come true. (whistles) 
Murray looked alarmed and cried, I don't like this magic. Undo it now, please. I'm trembling with fear from my toes to my knees. The others tried to calm Murray down, and Greg set to work trying to undo his magic. Uh, wiggly, wiggly, undo this thing of me. Oh, wiggly, wiggly, whack. Please put Murray back. He tried and tried, but with no success. What if you can't fix it? What if I'm stuck? A strange rhyming person. Oh, what rotten luck. Groaned Murray. I've got an idea, said Anthony. Come on, Jeff, we've got things to do. Greg, you keep trying with the magic words. Before Greg could say, Wiggly Wonder, they were back and had brought along their friends to help. Dorothy the dinosaur stepped forward and pushed a big bunch of red roses from her garden into Murray's hands. She was very wise for a dinosaur that was only five years old and said, It's aromatherapy. Take a big, deep breath of the fragrance from the roses. Close your eyes, concentrate, then say the first thing that comes into your mind. Murray did as she asked. I want to stop talking in riddles and rhymes. I think that it's working. No, not this time. He finished glumly, rhyming in spite of himself. <coughs> Next, Wags had a go. <coughs> he barked. Good idea, answered Jeff. A backwards dance. Maybe if we all did it with you, it could undo what's happened to Murray. So they all danced around backwards, and Wags licked Murray and gave him his favourite bone. But it was still no use. <coughs> Henry tried next. This is a dance we do under the sea. It helps when you have an upset tummy, and it makes us all feel good. It might help with rhyming too. He did a little dance, and his eight legs flew all over the place so that he looked like a windmill. Murray tried too. You have eight legs and I only have two. I'll try and keep up. It's not easy to do, said Murray, waving his arms and legs around and trying to dance like Henry. <coughs> Finally, Captain Feathersaw tried. I was on the SS Feathersaw cooking this cake when I heard what had happened. This is my mother's very special recipe. If you eat a piece of cake while I tickle you with my feather, it just might do the trick. So Murray ate some of Captain Feathersword's cake. It was very tasty. It put a great big smile on his face, but didn't seem to stop the rhyming. Just then, Jeff, who had been quietly practicing his new dance move in the background, did a big spin and went crashing and tumbling straight into Murray. Their heads banged together and they both fell onto the ground. Hey there, careful, said Murray. That hurt. Hey, did you hear that? I'm not rhyming anymore. I'm back to normal. He exclaimed happily. Everyone cheered and clapped. They were very happy that it was all over. Well done said Anthony, slapping Jeff on the back. You did it! You cured Murray! Jeff was still rubbing his head where he had bumped into Murray. Did I really? Well, I'm glad. I hate to see Murray when he's sad. Everyone turned and looked at Jeff in wonder. W what did you say? Asked Greg. I'm glad it's over. I have a sore head. This has made me tired. I'm going to bed. Jeff wandered off, rubbing his head. The other Wiggles looked at each other. Here we go again! <laughs> <laughs> oh,